Some of the biggest billionaires on the planet are saying they're investing in nuclear because, well, they own interest in nuclear power companies and it's, uh, it's something they want you to believe is a good idea because it makes them money. But just quietly, in the United States, wind and solar renewables actually overtook coal. In fact, just wind and solar on their own without batteries actually beat coal on the US grid in 2024. So whilst these billionaires and vested interests and um, certain sectors of the economy, they're trying to get us to think that um, renewables are not the answer, that we need nuclear. While that's happening, wind and solar continue to break records all around the world. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking, and it's great to have you with us. Thanks for tuning in. In a first for the United States, wind and solar actually overtook coal for most of 2024. The two renewable energy sources provided a record 17% of US electricity from January to November. Coal contributed only 15%. So even though 17% is a relatively small number, one thing people are not realizing is this, because of the onslaught or the number of big, huge batteries being installed around the America, a lot of solar will be added. And the IEA is predicting that a lot more solar will be added to the American grid because of these big batteries, because it simply makes sense to have all these solar panels, which are the cheapest form of energy by themselves in the world, simply makes sense to have those connected to these enormous batteries that are scheduled to be built all over the US over the next few years. Coal power is the single largest contributor to greenhouse gas emissions from the power sector, but it's been in decline in the US for more than two decades as both fossil gas and renewables have surged. In places like Texas, that is incredibly obvious, where coal used to make up nearly 40% of the Texas power grid. It now makes up nearly 10%. That's an enormous decline. Just recently, it was announced that a new solar farm and big battery would be built on the site of Texas's most polluting coal power plant. Coal used to account for 51% of electricity generation in the United States. That was at the start of the 21st century. By 2023, it had dropped to 16%. Last year, it dropped even more. Across the US, 10 states currently generate half or more of their electricity supply from renewables, with Iowa and South Dakota leading thanks to abundant wind power in Texas. Solar generated more electricity than coal for the first time in March of this year, and it did so for the rest of the year. Coal power is also declining in Australia, in Europe, even in China. The amount of coal being installed has crashed. Approvals for Chinese coal power plants have been slashed by around 90% over the past 12 months. In the first six months of the year, the European Union generated more electricity from solar and wind than from coal and gas combined. In the United Kingdom, coal is completely gone from the grid. The country shuttered its last coal-fired power plant in September of last year. I'm assuming you're watching this video in 2025. Worldwide, coal's share of electricity generation has fallen over the past decade, but coal still remains the largest source of electricity generation globally. It produced more than a third of electricity worldwide in 2023, and the world is still burning more tons of coal than ever across all use cases, which includes processes like steelmaking. But that is drastically changing. What I should say is, the use of coal is unquestionably declining. We have hit peak coal, and it's only going to be down from here. Now, the key reason for this is technological innovation. And Tony Sieber points this out many times. Technological innovation is what's going to save us, and save us from things like coal and from other fossil fuels. In the US, five of the nation's 10 largest coal plants have planned closure dates between 2028 and 2036. Inside Climate News reports, but another eight gigawatts worth of coal plants that don't have planned shutdown dates will be at least 60 years old by the end of this decade, meaning well past their use by dates. Experts expect those coal plants will be shuttered by 2040 at the absolute latest. 
But that, of course, is not soon enough to meet the planet's climate goals. And considering the fact that in most of the world today, it's cheaper, in fact, often far cheaper, to replace aging old coal-fired power plants with solar and battery storage, it appears to me that the acceleration of those technologies in their deployment will increase. Exponential growth is a real thing when it comes to renewable energy. And in many places, it's growing faster than ever. Even though big dollars, big media, big billionaires want you to believe the solution to the climate's troubles, to the world's problems, is nuclear. Actually, it's not. It's renewable energy. It's wind, it's solar, and it's batteries. And even though renewables are not making a big song and dance of what they can do in 2035 with their small modular nuclear reactors, which apparently will be cheap, um, they're quietly doing something quite remarkable, taking over global energy one day at a time, one solar panel at a time, one battery at a time. My message to you is this. Yes, it's true. The world is heating up and it's a huge problem. We could leave behind a world that will be far worse for our children than what we inherited. But I don't think we will, because I think most people are aware that we have the answer. We have the solution. A combination of solar, wind and batteries is all we need. We don't need nuclear power. Yes, it's good, but it's expensive. We don't need coal. We don't need gas. In fact, we don't really need anything. Wind, solar and batteries can power everything from electric cars to electric stoves, electric hot water systems and everything else we need. So my advice is if you can vote, if there are elections coming up in any way, if you can be involved in any way in influencing policy, please, we need logical people to be involved in this. If you are a politician, if you are a business leader, install renewables, make this happen faster. It's now cheaper for 90% of the world's population to install some combination of solar, wind and batteries than it is to use fossil fuels. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. Thank you for watching. China is no longer approving coal power plants. It's moving away from coal. Coal is finished and it only has a few years remaining. The data is here, we have the numbers, and these numbers show a critical change. One that Tony Sieber predicted and one that now is inevitable. China is about to build the world's largest solar farm, which will power more than 2 million homes. A solar farm that'll be even larger than that will be built here in Australia over the next five years. Companies are building these new solar farms and backing them up with enormous batteries at the fastest pace in human history.